magpo-fold natin ang pattern paper. Kasi mamaya, ito yung magiging back, ito naman yung magiging front. Tapos, maglalagay lang ako ng 1 inch allowance from the top or pwede rin naman na half inch allowance. This will be our shoulder line. Next is to get the vertical measurement. First is the neckline depth. My neckline depth is 3.5. So, mamarkahan ko lang muna to. Sunod ay ang bust. My bust line is 10 inches from the top. I think 10 is standard. Then, yung waistline. My waistline is 15 Next is the hip line. My hip line is 21. Then the length of the dress. The, depende na sa desired nyo na haba ng blouse o kaya dress. Since 27 lang yung pattern, hanggang 27 lang din yung dress na gagawin ko. Sa tingin ko magiging maiksito, so tudugtungan ko na lang to. Mamarkahan ko muna rin 27. Sunod ay ang vertical measurement. So, uunahin ko na itong sa pinakalaylayan. Ang desired ko na circumference measurement ng sa laylayan ng dress ay 36. Nakuha ko yung 36 since ang hip line ko is 36. So, gusto ko kasi ng straight cut. Kaya, ginaya ko na lang siya sa hip line. So, kung gusto nyo naman ng medyo balloon, pwede nyo siyang dagdagan. Or, kung medyo pencil cut, lesser nyo yung measurement. 6 divided by 4 is 9. And, pwede na natin siyang i-connect. Dumako na tayo sa hip line. My hip line is 36 divided by 4 is 9. Mark, then, connect lang sa measurement ng laylayan ng damit dahil magiging straight cut lang to next is the waistline measurement so mine is 32 divided by 4 is 8 mark then pwede na natin siyang i-connect using ruler so, depende na sa inyo yan. Kung gusto nyo ng maluwag or medyo pit lang na waist measurement. So, dumako na tayo dito sa bus. My bus is 32 divided by 4 is 8. Mark. Then, connect using ruler. So, last, dito na tayo sa shoulder line. So, sa shoulder line na yan, dalawang points ang kukunin natin dyan. Unahin na natin ang shoulder. So, my shoulder measurement is 13 divided by 2. That will be 6.5. Mark. So, divided by 2 lang. Unlike sa laylayan, hip line, waistline, and bust line, divided by 4 siya. So, pagdating sa shoulder, divided by 2 lang. Next is neckline. Mine is 3 inches wide. I think 3 inches is standard. After nyan, pwede na natin itong i-connect dito sa neckline depth using armhole curve ruler.
after nyan, pwede na natin i-connect sa shoulder. So, since ang shoulder natin ay hindi pantay, bababa tayo ng half inch or sa iba, 3 fourth. Pero half inch is okay na sa akin. Sa markahan ko lang to. Ayan, pwede na natin siyang i-connect. Meron na tayong shoulder. Since nandito na tayo sa neckline, kukunin na natin ang back neckline. So, back neckline is 1 inch deep. Mark, 1 inch. Then, connect. Next is the upper bust measurement. Mine is 7 and 1 port. Then, pwede na natin siyang i-connect using ruler. Just to give you an idea guys, how to get this measurement, based doon sa vlog na napanood ko, una ay ang kay Sheik Francisco, isang professional teacher ng pattern drafting. Ang measurement niya dyan ay for the small figure, that is 5 and 3 fourth, and for the medium figure, that will be 7 and 3 fourth, and for the large, is 8 and 1 port. Several vlog that I've watched, ginagamitan rin ang formula. So, that is bus length divided by 6 plus 1.5. You can use that formula to get your measurement. We now have the upper bus measurement. So, guguhitan ko lang to, ipapantay ko sa bus. Then, kunin lang natin ang gitna nito. Hold lang natin ang tape measure. Sunod, papasok lang tayo from that point ng half inch. So, sa iba, 3 fourth, sa iba, 1 inch. So, sa akin, okay na ang half. Then, pwede na natin siyang i-connect sa top ng shoulder para makuha ang front arm hole curve. So, before ko i-connect to dito, maglalagay muna ako ng 1 fourth inch para sa bus easing. Para na din, medyo slant pag kinonect siya sa bus. So, ayan, gamit ang armhole curve ruler, pwede na natin siyang i-connect. And for the back arm hole, from that middle point, kukonek lang natin siya pababa. Relax lang yung arm hole curve ruler. Then, guhita na natin siya para makuha natin ang back arm hole curve. Then, pababa, pwede na natin silang i-connect. Take your time doing this, guys.
So, ayan. Meron na tayong basic dress pattern. By the way, guys, hindi na nga pala ako naglagay ng dart. So, next time na lang, pagagawa ako ng dress na may dart. Pwede na natin simulang gupitin to. Uunahin natin yung back since ito yung nasa outer part. By the way, guys, sa fabric na lang ako maglalagay ng half inch allowance. Pero, pwede rin naman kayong mag-direct sa pinaka-pattern. Para lang makita nyo ng mas malinaw at malinis ang ginawa kong pattern. So, meron na tayong back at front. So, tingin naman natin yung front na part. Then, paghiwalayin lang natin ang front at ang back. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give this a thumbs up and help my channel grow by subscribing to it. See you guys. Bye!